Hi everyone! Today's video is all about how to control the spread of bamboo and I will show you that on the example of our golden bamboo you can see here behind me. This um, bamboo we have been growing for many years in our garden and golden bamboo is a running type of bamboo that means these uh, canes, the new growth, they spread underground. This is called rhizomes, the part you find in the ground. And it happens that the uh, new canes or new shoots come out quite far away from the original plant. So in our climate zone here, we're in a climate zone six and we encountered uh, the furthest spread so far of about two meters or seven feet away from the original plant. And normally, if you're growing running type of bamboo, you would have a root block uh, all the way around the bamboo in order to avoid uncontrolled spread, because this can also be uh, invasive, this bamboo, depending on your climate zone and on your growing conditions. Um, we decided uh, years ago to grow this bamboo without a root block. That's because it grows kind of in the middle of our garden and because we wanted to give it a certain area to spread in. However, anything that is outside of this area needs to be controlled uh, on a yearly basis and we do that uh, every year after the growing cycle has finished. Let me show you a perfect example of where bamboo has spread into an area where it's not supposed to be. So this is our pathway and you can see this small bamboo cane here that is growing in the pathway. So that most likely comes from one of the larger canes that grow beside the pathway. And then it is starting to spread underground. Let me remove the gravel into the pathway and across. And you can see here, I will try to pull the end of this one out. So what happens, this is part of a rhizome that grows underground and what our bamboo tends to do is it goes from the original plant underground and then it comes out and goes back in as you can see here. This spread, uh, this bit here is not too far yet so I will try to pull the rest out and you see here it goes back into the ground. This should work, yes, perfect. Here it is, and that's the end of the rhizome. So this is how it looks. And this rhizome latest next year and the next growing season would just keep spreading that way in the case. And if this isn't controlled, bamboo will just be everywhere if you let it grow uh, without uh, taking it back. First, I will take care of these three rhizomes here growing into the pathway and I will remove them. On this gravel pathway we have underlay underneath to avoid weeds from growing through and I think these rhizomes grow actually under the wheat foil so that means I will have to remove all this gravel first, cut open this wheat foil and then remove the rhizomes. Okay, now it becomes visible that this is where the spread is coming from. So this is uh, one important point to detect from which direction it comes, from which cane. And you see here that this cane is going that way. So I'm assuming it's this one here or this one, but probably more this one because it's a straight line and they tend to spread in straight lines. How deep these rhizomes grow in the ground, this really depends on the soil type in your garden and the climate you're growing the bamboo in, but also generally it depends on the growing conditions. For us here in our climate zone six, the rhizomes grow to a maximum of about four inches or 10 centimeters in the ground, not any deeper than that. Most of them are actually shallower. So for us to remove them is really not a, a big deal. So first I will use this standing knife to cut open this underlay of the pathway because the rhizomes grow through this underlay and then I will in a second step remove them. Okay. 
This is a good example to see what sometimes happens with rhizomes spreading underground, which is that they split. You can see here that the main rhizome going this way has developed uh, a second one, just going or forking off from the main one. And then over time, this one would grow also longer. And this is how it spreads not only in one direction, but in several directions. The other thing I want to show you here is that this cane, this is a fairly new cane. It's very thin and small has grown out from this rhizome and this is how bamboo then uh, spreads or continues to grow. So all these rhizomes have nodes at certain points and this looks like one here. And from these nodes, new canes will start to grow out. That means bamboo basically spreads in two different ways. One is the rhizomes growing underground and the other one is new canes growing out from these rhizomes. So this is how it works with running bamboo. Now the entire rhizome is dug up to the edge of the pathway. Here is where I'm going to cut it. And it turns out that it doesn't come from either of those. It seems to come from the original plant back here, which is still visible. So I will use snips now to cut this off here and then I will restore the pathway again. Okay, that's this one done and now we're moving on to the next one which is a bit of a bigger issue the second rhizome i need to take care of today is the one running in front of me you can see that here is bamboo growing out already this is fairly recent so two very small ones growing out from the nodes and then the end of this rhizome is this new shoot which came out this year so this is the growth from just this growing season which is for bamboo typically 90 days and all this needs to be removed. Now, the issue is that this rhizome seems to be running under this stone here, and we do not really want to move that stone or lift the stone. So what I will try to do is to, again, remove the gravel here, like I showed you before, and detect first where this rhizome is exactly coming from and where it's going, and remove as much as we can, and then maybe it will be possible to actually pull this one out without uh, moving this stone here. So that's the plan. And this is what we have dug out. You see again a split of the rhizomes and this one goes to this one here, looks like it, or this one we will see, this one actually broke off. And um, if I just show you with the spade, I will just lift. So you see, this is lifting the stone and you can see this piece attached. I think it's this one here under the stone. So we may have to uh, move the stone or, or tilt it up after all to get these out. This is the rhizome that came out of the ground. So Adam was holding up the stone with one hand and I just pulled the rhizome. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, taken care of. Now though, looking at this, this one was not attached to those thinner ones, which makes sense. And so here you see, this seems to come more from this side. So what we'll have to do, and this will be an off camera job to actually remove the stone uh, to get this one out. So this is, how it looks under the stone and I'm now searching for where this is coming from and here we go you see this is a different one and a bit thicker and what we will have to do is uh, keep going along this one so again here removing the gravel and pulling this one out and cutting it all the way back to where the pathway edge is Here 
you can see how far we have come from where it came out of the ground all the way it wasn't very deep luckily and here we are and here it made a turn and that's because there was a cut and this must have been from the rhizome we cut maybe years ago can't remember and it, it grew out in the other direction so now i'm almost back at the edge of the pathway and i'm just slicing the rest of the underlay here and there it is and because this grows so shallow here we just lift it out with a spade again or even by hand yeah, there you go see so this is fairly easy to remove and we're almost at the cutting point as you can see this is kind of looks up it doesn't look very nice and um, the conclusion is that if you're thinking of growing bamboo or if you do grow bamboo already and you want a controlled spread or you want to keep it in a certain area the best option is always to put a root block in ideally before you plant the bamboo we decided years ago uh, not to put any root block in because we weren't sure about the size of the area we want the bamboo to spread in and also we weren't sure how much it actually spreads so this is why in reality we do this once a year at least to go all the way around our golden bamboo and check the growth and dig out rhizomes in order to avoid that put in a root block and then you do not have this issue also sorry we didn't have a path at that time either that's true when we planted it we didn't have a path that was i don't know how many years ago and so it was all uh, not entirely planned out yet in the garden really um, anyway but this brings me to the end of the video i hope this is useful for you this information and seeing how this actually spreads underground and how it works to dig it out as mentioned here it was very shallow this is not necessarily everywhere the case and depending on your climate and soil conditions and growing conditions the bamboo may spread way faster especially in a warmer climate if you enjoyed the video please give us a like don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching and see you next time bye